main objective of accounting is to as a tiny profit and to know the financial position balance of all the ledger is right in the bookkeeping worksheet called trial balance it should be equal all the debit and credit item should be equal in profit and loss account you will consider all the revenue all the income and expenses and cost in the financial year Hello everyone. I am Meghana from the Department of Commerce, lecturing in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the session one of Unit Three, subject Accountancy. In today's session, let us start with a new unit that is Final Accounts of a Sole Trader. So let us start with today's session, Final Accounts of a Sole Trader. So this is the new concept according to your syllabus. Three column cash book is a separate concept, and Final Accounts of a Sole Trader is a different concept. Let us start with the final accounts of a sole trader. What is final account? The trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet prepared by a businessman at the end of a trading period are collectively called final accounts or financial statement. Trading, profit and loss account, and balance sheet. So, these three: trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet. prepared by a businessman at the end of the period is collectively called final accounts so trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet is collectively called as final accounts now we are studying final accounts of a sole trader final accounts of a sole trader is different and final accounts of a company is different so let's start with sole trader first final account is collectively called statement of trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet is collectively called final account then what is trial balance before we move on to the trading and profit and loss account meaning of trial balance a trial balance is a bookkeeping worksheet in which balance of all ledger are combined into debit and credit account column totals that are equal that means trial balance is a bookkeeping worksheet this is the balance of all the ledger account after journal entry we'll post them into ledger so the total of all the ledger will write in a bookkeeping worksheet the total of all the debit and credit is equal trial balance all the debit and credit is equal in trial balance you'll record the total amount of all the ledger balance of all the ledger is write in the bookkeeping worksheet called trial balance it should be equal all the debit and credit item should be equal a company prepare a trial balance periodically usually at the end of every reporting period so usually the trial balance is prepared at the end of period the general purpose of producing trial balance is to ensure the entries in company's bookkeeping system is mathematically correct that means all the ledger is posted into trial balance so in order to check mathematically correct whether it is correct or not so in order to verify that you will record all the ledger balance in the trial balance trial balance all the debit and credit should be equal so this is all about trial balance the two important objective which accounting is adopted by every businessman are ascertainment of profit or loss made by his business during a given trading period and as a tenement of the financial position of the business as on a given date that means every businessman they'll adopt accounting only to know the profit or loss to ascertain to find the profit or loss earned by the company during a particular period and to ascertain the financial position of a company to know the financial position of the company the two main objective of accounting is to as a tiny profit and to know the financial position so this final account that is trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet they fulfill the objective of accounting that means shows the profit or loss earned by the company and it shows the financial position of the concern trading and profit and loss account it gives the net profit and gross profit of the company that means as a tenement of profit or loss then balance sheet it shows the financial position of the concern so final accounts it fulfill the objectives of accounting next the meaning of trading account a trading account is an account which show the results of 
trading that is buying and selling of goods called gross profit or loss trading account means it shows the result of trading activity trading activity means buying and selling activity of the business it includes only the trading activity only buying and selling transaction here you will get transaction from the trading activity you will get the gross profit you will consider only the buying and selling activity buying and selling related activity in the trading account here you will get gross profit or gross loss it includes all the sales and purchase expenses and direct expenses any purchase return and direct expenses in trading account so here this is the results of trading activity like buying and selling the meaning of profit and loss account the term profit and loss statement refers to financial statement that summarizes the revenue cost and expenses incurred during a specific period usually a quarter or fiscal year that means the profit and loss statement which summarize the revenue cost expenses incurred during the period in profit and loss account you will consider all the revenue all the income and expenses and cost in the financial year and from this information you will find the net profit or loss from the trading account you will get the gross profit only the gross profit after this after trading account you will consider all the indirect expenses and indirect income and you will consider all the data and calculate the net profit or net loss this records provides information about a company ability or inability to generate profit by increasing revenue reducing cost or both this statements are often presented on a cash or accrual basis that means this statement profit and loss account shows the company's ability company's ability to increase the profit to generate the profit or to loss that means if the revenue is more and the cost that means the expenses are low it shows the profit company in the ability to generate the profit if the cost or the expenses is more and the revenue is less it is clear that company running in the loss so it give the net profit or net loss of the company profit and loss account it consider all the indirect expenses and indirect income that means cost and revenue and match with the income and revenues income and expenses and find the net profit or net loss this all about profit and loss account next balance sheet the term balance sheet refers to financial statement that reports a company's assets liability and shareholders equity at a specific point in time that means the balance sheet is a financial statement it shows the company's assets liabilities and the shareholders equity in a single statement it gives the financial position it ascertain the financial position of the concern the balance sheet is financial statement that provides a snapshot of what a company owes and owns as well as amount invested by shareholders balance sheet can be used with other important financial statement to conduct fundamental analysis and calculating financial ratios that means it shows the company owns and owes that means company assets and company's liability how much the assets the company have and the total liability of the company it show shareholders equity how much the shareholders equity and the liability and the assets the company have it is clearly shows the financial position of the concern and it helps in further calculation or for conduct the fundamental analysis and calculate the financial ratios balance sheet is a financial statement it shows the financial position of the concern so this all about trading profit and loss account and balance sheet let's start with the format or pro forma of trading account in trading account first we'll consider opening stock then all the trading activity buying and selling here this is the debit side and credit side so here all the expenses and income here first opening stock that means the previous year closing stock become the opening stock for the particular year so opening stock then purchase purchase amount if any purchase return deduct from the purchase and amount in outer column then all the direct expenses 
direct expenses include carriage, invert, freight, octroi, dock duties, excise duty, royalty, motive powers, coal, gas, water, then factory expenses, that is factory rent, all these are direct expenses. After considering all the expenses, just move to the income or first consider sales. If any sales return, just deduct it from the sales and amount in outer column. Then closing stock. After recording all the direct income and expenses, just make a total and find the difference. If the income, if the income is more than the expense, then it is gross profit. If the income is more, then it is gross profit. If the expenses are more, if the expenses is more than income, then it is gross loss. So, to find the gross profit or gross loss, we will consider all the indirect income and indirect expenses. That means trading activity. After finishing trading account, in the same statement only, we will continue with the profit and loss account. The format for the profit and loss account is same particular amount and debit side and credit side. This is all the expenses, debit side all the expenses and credit side all the income. But here you will consider all the indirect expenses and in the credit side you will consider all the indirect income. So in the trading account direct expenses and direct income and here indirect expenses and indirect income. In trading account if you earn gross loss, you will get gross loss. It should be brought down for the debit side. Here, gross loss carried down should be brought down for the profit and loss account debit side. And gross profit carried down, gross profit carried down should be brought down for the credit side. Gross profit should be brought down for the credit side. Gross loss should be brought down for the debit side. Next, consider all the indirect expenses like salary, office rent, taxes, printing and stationery, telephone expenses, postage and telegram, discount allowed, insurance, audit fee, electricity charges, repairs and renewals, depreciations, advertisement, carriage, outward, bad debt, provision for bad debt, selling commission, bank charges, interest on loan, loss on sale of assets. All these are indirect expenses. Consider all the indirect expenses in the debit side and all the indirect income in credit side like discount received, commission received, bank interest, rent received, dividend on shares, interest earned on debenture, profit on sale of assets. All the indirect income in credit side. After recording all the indirect income and expenses, just make a total and find the difference. Same, if the expense is more than the income, then it is net loss. If the income is more than the expenses, it is net profit. So, in order to know the net profit or net loss, we will prepare profit and loss account. This is the format of profit and loss account. Next, format of balance sheet. Balance sheet of XYZ company, the company name as on 31st March or 31st December for the particular year. Liabilities and assets. All the liability like sundry creditors, bills payable, bank overdraft, outstanding expenses, mortgage loans, then reserve funds, capital. Consider capital, write in the inner column. Then if the net profit add with capital in profit and loss account if you get net profit if you get net profit add the net profit if it is net loss just deduct net profit is to be add and net loss should be deducted so add net profit deduct net loss then less drawings drawings means personal withdrawals drawings you need to deduct then income tax income tax you need to deduct the final amount in the outer column. Consider all the liability. Then assets. Cash in hand, cash at bank, bills receivable, bills payable is the liability and bills receivable assets. Then sundry data, investments, closing stock, 
ప్రీపెయిడ్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ ఫర్నిచర్ అండ్ ఫిట్టింగ్స్ ప్లాంట్ అండ్ మెషినరీ ల్యాండ్ అండ్ బిల్డింగ్ బిజినెస్ ప్రిమిసెస్ పేటెంట్స్ అండ్ ట్రేడ్మార్క్ గుడ్ విల్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఇస్ అసెట్స్ సో అసెట్స్ అండ్ లాబిలిటీస్ బ్యాలెన్స్ షీట్ షుడ్ బి టాలీడ్ సో యూ నీడ్ టు గెట్ బోత్ ది సైడ్ సేమ్ అమౌంట్ సో అసెట్స్ అండ్ లాబిలిటీ షుడ్ బి ఈక్వల్ సో ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఈక్వల్ ఆర్ ది సేమ్ అమౌంట్ దెన్ యువర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇస్ కరెక్ట్ so this all about the format of balance sheet trading and profit and loss account in today's session we learn three column cash book and next to concept final accounts of a sole trader meaning of final accounts then trial balance trading account profit and loss account then balance sheet then format of all the trading profit and balance sheet so in the next session let's continue with the problem let's start with first problem on final accounts of a sole trader before moving to the problem you need to be perfect with this format you should be able to identify whether it is a trading activity or whether this item comes under trading account or profit and loss account or it is a balance sheet item or assets or liability you should be able to differentiate you need to classify between the trading profit and balance sheet this is a format of profit and loss trading then balance sheet so this all about today's session let's continue with the next session until then keep watching thank you